Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's Leela here. And I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here to talk about prosperity and energy and your capacity. So I'm wondering, what is your capacity right now? How much love can you hold? How much money can you hold? How much space can you hold for other humans? Hello, so good to see you. So I'm Leela, if you don't know me already. Um, and I'm a business coach, but I also help people with their body. Because what I really know is that the body is directly related to the business, to the bank account, to everything in your life. Why? Because you create your own reality. And your body is simply a reflection of your creation of your life, right? So um, how do you, I've been, you know, I've been working this week a lot with clients. I've been working with, you know, clients privately. I've been working with clients in my mastermind group. And, you know, I spoke about this concept of you have to take care of your body. You have to get really present and in alignment. Full embodiment, full presence in all parts of yourself at, at all times. Imagine. Right? People say to me all the time, they're like, I, you know, I, I want to work with you because you're really grounded, really present. I say it all the time now. It's wild. It's cool, right? Because it's what I teach. Right? But that's really the underpinning trust, trust factor right, of why people want to work with you or not. And it's all about the body. So I have the capacity. You know, when you first start your business, I'm just going to share, you can't take, you can only take in so much money. You don't believe yet you can. And your body, if you try to take too much in, you see it all the time. People win the lottery and they fall apart. <laughs> they just fall apart. So you have to take care of your body. You have to build your energetic capacity to hold space, you have to be able to be learn, learn how to be really present as more and more and more comes. Part of the reason why, why people don't receive more money, more, more love, more clients, more whatever it is they want is because they're not ready. They haven't prepared their, their vessel. Like, it's so important. I have a retreat coming up next week. I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. In Manitou Springs. It's the fourth one I've done at this place, and it's beautiful, and it's gorgeous, and we have a great time. Uh, this time, there's all women. We're going to eat yummy food, go to the spa, you know, do some training, all sorts of some movement. We're going to really work on um, you know, opening up to receiving more in 2020. Right? So you've got to learn how to take care of the vessel, the body. If you start receiving more, and you're not taking care of your body and expanding your energetic, your body's capacity, to hold space for more people, to hold space for more money, right? To hold space for more love, whatever it is. If you're not taking care of the vessel, your body, you'll get sick if more comes. You'll resist it. It'll be like, oh, it's too much. If you're present, if you're healthy, if you're vibrant, if you're alive and awake, and, and just really taking care of your physical form, you build more and more capacity to take on more clients, to hold space. Like if you're a speaker, for example, when you first start, if you're first starting as a speaker, you can't go speak to like a thousand people. You'll get sick, you'll freak yourself out. You start with a few, a dozen, maybe then 30, maybe then 50, then 100, and then a couple hundred, and then thousand. Right, so you build up and build up. Same thing with clients. You can't take on like 100 clients at one time. You'll freak out, your ego will be like, ah, and your body will resist and you'll get sick. So. If you want to receive more, right? So like, give me some hearts if this makes sense because some people will get it and some people won't. It's totally okay. But I know some people out there wearing themselves out in business and you don't have to. Like you can do more and make more and serve more and feel better and better and better and better and better. It's all about presence. It's all about on the back end, in addition to doing your, your sales, your marketing, you're taking care of your clients, all of that stuff, you need to be taking care of yourself first, right? What does that mean? Your posture, right? What you put in your body? How do you power yourself up? What kind of people are you around, right? 
Are you doing your exercise? Are you doing mindfulness? Anything, you know, what are you doing to take care of yourself? You're going out in nature, right? I take, I love to take baths. Right? What is it that you're really doing to elevate your body, right? I'm always working on my mindful connections with my body. So I teach the bow spring. It's a mindful movement practice. And it's all about how to connect your mind and your body to build your level of presence even more and more and more and more and more. Elevate your um, alignment so your everything's more in harmony in your body. When everything's harmony in your body, everything's harmony in your life. When everything's harmony in your life, everything's harmony in your body. If your body's jacked up, something's off. Okay, this is what I love working with on people. So if like you've got an issue in your body right now, and you're and you think your life's spot on, it's not. <laughs> I love you, but like, it's just not like something's going on in your life and your body's just saying, Hey, Hey girl. Hey, you need to change something. yo, Right. We all have it. I get it all the time. Sometimes if my, uh, let's see, what do I solar plexus solar plexus is the area of my life. Cause the way I grew up, I was real like scared a lot. And so my solar plexus will, will kind of bug me. If I get scared, I'll notice my solar plexus and I'm like, huh, what am I scared about? Okay. I'm in a place of up level on myself, so I get a little scared. I'm a little scared right now. I get a little scared sometimes. I'm like, it's okay. So what do I gotta do? I take care of myself. Build my capacity. Breathe, right? Open that space up. Integrate the other parts. Use the mantras. I'm safe. I'm secure. All is well. Everything's unfolding and working for me in divine timing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right? Okay? And already then that 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 energy in the solar plexus will start to soften and open up and relax. So, right, so that's where it will reflect in my body. I'm not sure where it is in your body. Everybody's a little bit different. But if you have pain in your low back, it's because of financial worries. I, I deal with people a lot with that, right? Because what the work I do, I'm a business coach, and you know, help people integrate the business in the body and say, hey, like, you can build more and feel better um, if you're willing to just build the awareness and do make some shifts in your life around really taking care of yourself. And, and most likely, what I'm gonna say is this, listen, your business person especially. Um, Elle said, I love my bow, I live my bow spring. Yeah, we live the bow spring. Um, so, don't burn out, please. Don't burn out, we need you. Everybody I'm connected to here, all my friends, you, you're doing really cool things in the world. You're helping people. You're like great juju for the world, and we need you. Um, so take care of you. You're the most important part of what you're bringing to the world. Um, the more you take care of yourself, what's fascinating, the easier business gets. Okay. So uh, Elle Ingalls on here, Pressure Free Method, whoop, whoop. huge, huge part of my success. Huge, both spring, huge. Eating well, sleeping right, being around great people, watching the mind, being really mindful of my thoughts, and when they're not in alignment, really, uh, oh, I know what I was going to say about alignment. Alignment. Alignment in your body, alignment in your business. If you're stuck or confused or like, what, which way do I go? Or if you're doing work that's like not really work you like to do, stop. Or like, let's create a bridge plan <laughs> so you don't have to do that all the time because you might just be doing something somebody told you to do, and it's not really in alignment with who you are. I'm gonna say that again. You might be doing work. I've done it, so I can say it. I got clients doing it too. Still doing it. Get them out of it, but sometimes it's hard. It takes time. <laughs> doing work just to do work, because that's what someone told you to do, even though you're freaking overworking. No, 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 no. no. It's like how long is that? How long, How many more years you can do that before you're gonna wear yourself out? <laughs> That's what I was doing. That's what I did in like 2017, 16 or 17, I think. 17, 16. Whew, way too much work. I work way less now. Make way more. Feel great. Happy as a clam. Right? I have moments. I cried yesterday. I cried yesterday about being single, by the way. I'll just, I'll just lay it out there. Because I went to the Grand Caymans and it was like full of couples. I couldn't go anywhere. It was couples everywhere. I was like, I don't want to be sightseeing and just seeing a bunch of lovey birds. Then I realized, I was like, I'm a little, I'm a little triggered by these lovebirds. <laughs> right? 
<laughs> so I got to open up and receive more. I got to open up my heart more is really what's going down in Monkey Town over here. So I'm going to do some more bow spring, some more radiant heart breathing. I'm going to connect with people. Actually, I've already have been connecting people more and more deeper. I realized I was like, huh, that was interesting. I, I got a little triggered. So I gave a guy uh, that I know that's having a hard time. And I, a friend of mine is having a hard time yesterday. I saw him. And usually if he's complaining, I'm not interested as, as much in listening. Because it's just sometimes I'm like, you know, a couple minutes of complaining is all right, but over time it's like, oof, too much complaint. Yesterday I said to him, I said, you know, do you need a hug? He started crying. I gave him a hug. Beautiful. I was like, oh my God. All I have to do to stop him from complaining is see if he needs a hug. He just put a little thing, just needs a hug. Isn't that interesting? So I increased my energetic capacity yesterday to hold space for more love for my own heart and for somebody else in my life um, that maybe in the past I thought was just complaining, and now I realized. Just needs some love. Just, just needs a hug. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Made me super happy. So it's the same thing within business. The same thing in relationships. The same thing everywhere. If you work on your body, like for example, this person that I thought was complaining. Every time he started talking about complaining, I kind of get tight in my body, and I was like, I don't like this. What could I do differently next time? And I opened up and offered a hug instead of being like, oh. You're so beautiful, so beautiful. So open up your arms, open up your body, open up your mind, open up your capacity to help more people, work on your body, work on your presence, to allow more money to flow into your life through you. It's just through, it's, it's, it's just flowing through you. And if there's anything blocking in your body, right, it's gonna block the, the people, the money, the love, all the things. So. Your body is like, I could say it, I think I probably said it a hundred times already on this video. I love you. <laughs> if it's annoying, sorry. But I'm so committed to this work because I see the results. And I have a system, right? I have this system to teach people. It's super simple. It's not easy because you have to change. But I, I just have a, a woman who's over like 60 years old and she just, you know, she's been walking a certain way for 60 some years. I taught her the new system. She's sharp. She's real smart. So she just implemented it, started walking a new way, totally new energy, totally different. She's just just totally different energy when she walks now. So much is gonna change in her life. She's never been in her body and now she is. She's learning how in her 60s. And this is happening in my life over and over and over. I keep attracting people who are, you know, are just super smarty pants and just need help with this part. You know, help with some visioning, aligning the vision in their business with who they are, right? And then working on the alignment in the body, huge. It's like, it's just the one-two punch. I just, I get so excited. I've had a really fun week with clients this week. I'm going to tell you that. That's why I'm so jazzed right now. I just, I just, I'm so grateful for the work that I do. I'm so grateful that I've worked on my capacity because, you know, next year in 2020, um, like for example, this year I did four, four retreats plus a, like a fifth, actually a fifth retreat, five retreats. Next year I'm going to take people to an international retreat. I'm speaking on my biggest stage yet next year, right? This is all, I'm just sharing this not to be Braggy Braggersons, but just to say like, hey, I'm building my energetic capacity and you can too, but you've got to take care of the physical form, the body, the mind, this like vessel thing we got going on. Because if you take people to an international retreat, for example, or if you on stage and speak in front of like, you know, thousands of people and you're not ready, body, it might be all right, but you're not going to enjoy it as much. Let's start there. And your people, your clients, the people who are listening to you in the audience, wherever you are, they're not going to get as much out of it. So if you take really good care of yourself, that's really what true service is to the world, I believe. True service is taking care of you, baby. All right? If you need help, let me know. I'm here for you always. You know, you always see my face. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to serve the world because I have enough capacity energetically to do it all day, every day if I want to. I take breaks. Don't get me wrong. Namaste, my friend. Take care. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. You are loved. Open your heart. Open, open, open to receive more. You deserve it.